I'm Gianni Crawford here in front of the Music Hall where Michigan's own Dave Coulier entertained the crowd all for Forgotten Harness. This, I know, I think this is funny too. <laughs> he may have come to make us laugh, but Dave Coulier also wanted to raise money for hunger. The annual comedy night for Forgotten Harvest raises thousands of dollars. They had a live auction and a silent auction. One big selling item was Tyree Guyton's red dot, which he painted right on stage. Forgotten Harvest is a food rescue organization. They get fresh food every day from grocery stores around Metro Detroit. With the food they collect, they are able to serve 165 agencies that provide the food to tens of thousands of people. On an average day, they pass out 65,000 fresh and nutritious meals. Forgotten Harvest is an organization that is very important, and they're doing some incredible things, and there's a lot of hungry people in the world, especially now through some very tough economic times. And when I heard the work that they were doing, and um, a gentleman by the name of Mark Ridley called me, and, and um, we started talking about uh, doing a show for Forgotten Harvest and at that time I really learned more about Forgotten Harvest and as soon as I got all the information I became very um, very interested in what they were doing. As an environmentalist, Coulye was also drawn to Forgotten Harvest because they are among the top 30 organizations to be one of Michigan's green leaders. We actually save all the fresh food from going into the landfill and this year we're going to get close to 20 million pounds of food that will never go to the landfill but will actually fill uh, the uh, stomachs of many, many hungry people. Russell says by distributing food and keeping it out of landfills, they are able to reduce emissions of methane gas in the air. The hunger problem in Metro Detroit may not have been caused by a natural disaster, but Russell calls it a tsunami of hunger and urges others to help by volunteering or donating. For every dollar donated, Forgotten Harvest can feed five people. There are so many ways that people can help Forgotten Harvest. Um, in fact, if you have a school, we're, we're recruiting schools to be our ambassadors. And if there's a grocery store in your neighborhood or, or there's a restaurant or a place uh, that can provide food, um, you can be an ambassador and actually go and, and find out if uh, these uh, food uh, potential donors could help us. Nearly one in two children in Detroit are hungry, and on an average, one in every four in Metro Detroit go hungry. At Comedy Night, Forgotten Harvest honored Bush's Market and Comerica Bank. They are not the only year-round partners. Forgotten Harvest gets support from Kroger, Trader Joe's, Spartan Stores, Holiday Market, Walmart, Costco, Meyer, Westbourne Market, Whole Foods, and several independent grocers. If Forgotten Harvest did not exist, what would happen is that literally tens of thousands of people would go hungry. They wouldn't know where their next meal would be. Dave Coulier, who grew up in St. Clair Shores, has shared the stage as a comedian with Jim Carrey, Jerry Seinfeld, Drew Carey, Tim Allen, Paul Reiser, Dennis Miller, Jay Leno, Richard Pryor, and George Carlin. Jokingly, Coulier says he chose entertainment because he wasn't good at science. But in a more serious tone, he says he is honored that he can use his fame to help those in need. I've been very fortunate, and I've been given lots of uh, great things because of my career and the notoriety that it brings and the celebrity that it brings. Um, I think it's really important to, to put things back into the world. I think it's really important to put positive things back into the world. And one way of doing that is, is by helping others. And there's a lot of charities out there. There's a lot of people who need help. And if I'm able to <clears throat> take who I am and what I do and help somebody, um, that to me is, is a very winning formula. I'm Gianni Crawford with Youth Neighborhood News in collaboration with Michigan Children, where we bring you the younger side of the news.